All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Queens, New York, lights out. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, and a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out there. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Shore. Just out of range with the big right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Off the single collar tie there. Clipped him with a right hand there. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Rock him, shock him out of the shoot here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, single collar tie here. And they set. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice right here. All right, he'll engage in a single color tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choice. Real quick leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? These kicks back to back truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. And they set it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, huge knees to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. They continue to exchange. He's back in the switch. Watch the knees to start to come down. Just missed with the left there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, continues to attack the head with those elbows in the clinch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Back to the jab now, no good. Blocks the shot. There. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chip? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. That was lightning fast, that right end. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? I mean, that right hand lands square. Nice kick. He 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hands high, hands high. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. And they clinch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Some nice back and forth action here. Right hand puts the clinch. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Beautiful kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Joy gets caught with that punch. Right hook to the head blocked. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, going back to the uppercut. Well, nearly connected. Stuffs the takedown there. Hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Right punches there. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Looking to land the leg kick now. This is a way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes to stop. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Watch the strike. 20 seconds to go round two. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Boy, time slump. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Nice combination of jabs. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. 
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Unable to connect there. Throws the right hand there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big kick lands. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to establish that jab once again. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Left hand punch from the clinch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. That knee, that knee hurt him. Three minutes remain in the round. He's given him so many different things right now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! Too much, perhaps just looking to recover. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one two punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Effective punch there by Choi. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Again, working off of that jab. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Oh! looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Oh, he to the head. Oh, high level defense there, the hook shot is blocked by Chor. Nice loop and punch. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. And just misses with that big right hand. What a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good ready? back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick to sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch. The Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Tags him with the uppercut. Kick blocked though by Chor. Nice head kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. He's, he's limping now. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. That knee might have landed there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. All right, single collar tie now. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Touch his block. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Real nice body kick lands. What a punch. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Choi's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Muay Thai plum. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. 
he's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Oh! oh he's Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Close guard. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. A little clean, tight combination there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would.